Jenny's Foods Forest. This is Jenny's seed collection. I'm in the inner sanctum here, boys and girls. Look at this place. I gave her this greenhouse well, a few years ago. And uh, yeah. So this will be her new greenhouse. This is uh, her rosemary. Look, she made a nice sitting area. Beautiful hay. Gorgeous. I remember she had a morning glory infection here, but it's not here no more. But look at this. My sister, uh, she passed away a few years ago. I, 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 was, I received this plum tree from her place. And uh, yeah, look at the kale, another apple tree, a tayberry, a peony. Yeah, and more tayberry onto the apple tree. And look at those. Jenny has apples. Yeah. Yep. This is uh the Hugel Mound's gone. There used to be a Hugel Mound that we put here, but Jenny's been busy. Look at the beautiful pathways. Gorgeous. Look at this. This is a plum tree I gave her. This is the very first tree I ever gave her. And uh, now it's loaded with uh, Italian plums. And she put in a watering system. Check that out, hey. Very good. Oh, look at the garlic. My God, can you get another garlic over there? Tree peony coming out. Yeah. Kale, kale. More garlic. My God, this girl has a lot of garlic. Yeah. Look at this. Lemon tree. Yep. Crocosmia. Lots of crocosmia. Oh, look at this. Salsa verde, green. Green fig. Hiya, girls. Hiya, girls. Hiya, girls. Hiya, girls. Yeah, pretty girls. Yeah. And look at this. Look at the... See the kiwi in the apple tree? Now the kiwi is going up, up into the, the tree, up into the, 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 the hedge, see? That's what you want. you want. You want to grow in the vertical. Now this is an interesting plum tree. I cut the top off of a tree and we stuck it in the ground and it grew. With some kind of damson. <laughs> yeah, that's too funny. And here's another one. It's the same one, I think. Yeah, it's the same one. Interesting. So, yeah. This will be her new greenhouse. Yeah. Wow. Pretty amazing. Yeah, look at her, her peas. That's all her peas and lettuce. Looks like romaine lettuce. Yep. I don't know what she has in this block. Check out this blueberry. <laughs> um, now that's a lot of blueberries, hey? That's a ton of blueberries. I mean, you, you, you couldn't put another blueberry on this bush. My relative gave it to me a few years ago. It was an experimental blueberry. Looks like it does quite well. <laughs> this is an apple tree. I think her mother-in-law gave her this one. And then there's these here blooms. This is an apple tree too. But the pollen from this. And she has beehives now, Jenny. Which is pretty cool. And here's some more of her... Look at this charred lettuce beets. Oh my. She blocks out the sun with that remade. That's called remade. We better put it back. So I'll get in trouble. She's very vocal, Jenny. <laughs> but look at this. That's her spinach underneath the remade. It's to keep that sun from burning them so it still thinks it's cloudy. 
and a cooler temperature to grow her vegetables. I had to make a second video. I think it's May 1st or something like that. But uh, look at that, hey, isn't that cool? It's underneath the, the remade cloth. Yeah. And here are her, her carrots. She's very busy. She likes to grow her own food. She don't mess around, boy, I'll tell you. Look at the garlic here. Now this is garlic. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Lots of garlic. This is her sitting area. Yeah. Beautiful, hey? Jenny's food forest. Nice rhubarb. Looks like someone's been eating it. Yep. And this is mulberry. Look at all the mulberries. There's tons of mulberries on. And then this is the cool part. Look at the kiwi up onto the apple tree. See, this is kiwi. There's the apples. You wouldn't believe it unless you see it, hey? Isn't that something? Huh? Huh? Look, it's going over to the mulberry. You keep it under control. You don't let it, you know, get too much on the fruit tree. But she'll get some kiwi on that this year. Yep. And this is roses. And this is another plum tree here. This one. And then the roses. And this is your hyacinth and bluebells. Yep. These are nice rose hips. Wow. Beautiful, gorgeous rose hips. Yep. Hear the birds chirping away. Yeah, look at this, another fruit tree. Something, what is it? It is a Spartan apple. Jenny, my God, Jenny's food forest, hey? Look at these all Italian plum trees. Oh my, look at the lilacs. Oh, oh my gosh, look at them all. Oh, I must nick some before I go. Look, she has a row of fruit trees along here. Every little piece. Look at her pathway soil bank. See, she, she, she's a real go-getter. She don't, she know, she, she knows what she wants and she goes and gets it. Oh, she put up a nice, beautiful new fence. Look at this. Another apple tree. Ooh, that's some kind of, it's a Jonathan apple. Yep, it's a Jonathan apple. Yep. And here's some more lilacs. This brings in the bees. She's gonna have her own honey by the looks of it. Yep. Yep, this is snowberry, it's called. Yep. So there's that. Oh my. This place is quite extensive. This used to be all lawn, hey? This whole thing used to be lawn. Look at her Digitalis purpurea. Oh, she has a big bed of it here. I thought it was comfy for a second. But it's not. Here we go. We got a Japonica Asser. Beautiful Japonica. And uh, some lavender. Wow, it's gorgeous, hey? Yeah. And here we have a giant fig. Look at that. And here we have another apple tree. And we have another kiwi. Oh, here's another apple tree. I gave her that one. And here's a a kiwi, you see, a kiwi into the peach tree. Oh, well, looks like she's gonna get some peaches this year. That's nice. And Jenny has bees. Look at this. She came a long ways from having a lawn four years ago, maybe five years ago, she was walking by my house. I showed her my food forest and she looked around at mine. She goes, I want one. <laughs> Well, she certainly did get one. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yep. I have no idea what that is. Some kind of fungus. But this is a crab apple. And that pollinates the rest of the apple trees here. She did quite a bit of thinning out. See that? She thinned it out quite, quite a lot. And this is a... Um, I think it's a plum, yep. This is cool. No bunnies allowed. Huh. This must be to chase the bunny stick away or chase the bunnies. 
<laughs> Here's some comfrey. Oh, it looks a bit rough. I don't know what this is. Interesting. I don't know. Uh, some kind of plum tree she took home from somewhere. <laughs> this apple tree we rescued. We rescued this apple tree from uh, from um, the, the. They were going to cut it down. You see, they were going to cut it down, and uh, and uh, we we moved it. I went over and dug it out. It's in the winter time when it was dormant. But do you see the see the grapevine in the apple tree right here? See that grapevine in the apple tree. In every fruit tree here, she has a. She has a vine of some kind. And these are the girls. Hi girls. Hi girls. Hello, hello. Look at this. Look at the kiwi here and see this apple tree and going into this plum tree and it goes up into the hedge. See it way down there, up along through the hedge. But here's Jenny's happy chickens. And look at the bird at the bird feeder in there, at the chicken feeder, look at them. Right, right there. He's getting a drink of water, see that? That's cool. Yep, so this is a food forest. This is Jenny's owl to scare away. To scare away the, the mice and why not? So that concludes Jenny's food forest. Pretty cool place. Jenny's food forest. Yeah, it all has a, has a, all a relationship. The, none of this existed. None of it. Not a. Yeah. That's another fig here. But this is the lemon tree. Interesting enough. She took it out of the ground. She phoned me and asked me what to do with this. And I said, leave it where it was. <laughs> and she was determined. I ate this lemon about four years ago. But uh, she's converting this into a greenhouse. This used to be her pergola. I think that's how you say it. And she used to have a big sitting area here. And I remember it. I sat there a few times. had a couple of snacks, you know. But uh, this is going to be now a big greenhouse. It's still pretty solid. You know, it should be okay. Get 10 or 15 more years out of it. But, um, yeah. And she's getting rid of the old greenhouse. This is, you know, she's always upgrading. Which is pretty cool. You can't go wrong with that. So, um, yeah. And she puts down her cardboard, you see. Always put down the cardboard and then she mulches. Cardboard mulch, cardboard mulch, cardboard mulch. And that controls all the weeds where you don't have to do a lot of work. Because you don't want to do a lot of work. But this is part of the old hoogle mound that we put here. This is the very first thing that we ever put here. And so that's pretty cool. These are her old chairs. I remember her redoing this table years ago. But this here had a massive uh, infection here. And I'm glad it's gone now. And they have their fence up. This is a birch tree. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I love it. A food forest has arrived here. Yep. This was all lawn at one time. It's not a lawn anymore. No. This is a food forest now. Yep. This is a food forest. I think it's absolutely spectacular. Look at this. She always has kale kale um, seeds to give, you know. She she uh she collects everything for the food forest. Ooh, -hoo, Mr. B took off. My sister would be pretty impressed that her plum trees are here. But uh Wow, now this is something, hey? This all used to be a lawn. Certainly isn't a lawn anymore. And all it is is pathway soil bank. 
and heavy duty bark mulching, heavy duty lawn clippings, coffee grounds, kitchen waste, biochar, dead goldfish, kelp from the beach, seaweed. Look at this, some thyme here. This is nice. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it smells like Christmas. Yep. Look at this. Yeah, I have no idea what this is. There's little creatures on there. See them? Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea what they are. It looks cool, though. I'll have to ask now. But, um, yeah. It's pretty fabulous stuff. Pretty fabulous. What's this? Sea soil. Organic compost sea soil. Enriched with fish nutrients. I can barely read it. Huh. Ah. Antibiotic free, growing your soil, not the landfill. Wow. This is one lady that came a long ways. Check out her asparagus. <laughs> I almost want to eat it. I'd probably be getting into trouble. <laughs> She's very protective of her food forest. She doesn't mess around, I'll tell you that. Yeah. But these here are very interesting. The remade is to cut down, to cut down the, the, the sunlight, you know, so it's still cool and shaded. And she grows the best greens. I mean, holy shmoleons. Look at this, she's having fun. It kind of looks like Darren, <laughs> her husband. <laughs> Oh, look at a sun choke. Oh, my. Well. Yeah. Wow. So, it's all in layers. A food forest is made in layers. There's the understory on the ground, under the ground. But the pathway soil bank I introduced to uh, the, the food forest to build it because once you've built your soil you can grow anything you want look at this a grape a grape attached to her apple tree <laughs> how cool is that and it's attached to her fans yeah you can't go wrong with that so I've got a minute left here ladies and gentlemen and uh, much love and mad respect please uh, Treat Mother Earth with respect. I'm going to be gone for some time, but I shall return. God is good. Much love and mad respect. Yeah, it's uh, I'll be in and out of the cancer clinic for a while. God bless everybody. You, you're all my fellow earthlings. Fellow Earthlings, hashtag Fellow Earthling. I'm going to put that in. God bless you all.